Hi, my name's Eddie. I'm with Hilltop Camper and RV. Today I'm going to show you a 2024 Alliance 262 RB Delta. As we look up front here, you're going to see you've got a molded uh, fiberglass front cap with an LED light strip. You'll find two 20 pound propane tanks. You'll find an electric tongue jack. Here we've got an integrated A frame. So very, very strong there. As we kind of pan over to the side here, you're going to find large compartment doors that are held up by magnets. As you look inside here, you'll see all kinds of space, not to mention you've got a foldable uh, picnic table there. Uh, here we're going to find your furnace. You've got a tankless water heater, so endless amount of hot water. You've got a full length uh, electric awning here, so it'd be a nice sunshade for you there. Here we've got a little cubby. You've got a pull out griddle slash grill. So depending on how you want to cook, you've got the means here, not to mention it's underneath the awning. All Deltas are going to come with Goodyear brand tires. Uh, what I like about these is they're speed rated at 87 miles an hour. So very, very, very strong there. Uh, here's another thing that they did new was the G glass door. So it looks, aesthetically looks nice and uh, is good. Uh, here we've got the foldable steps, which will fold in and out with adjustable legs. Uh, very stable here as you step in and out of the coach here. Out the back side here, you'll notice you've got a ladder, but this is going to be wider than most ladders. And what's nice about it is you see you can use it as a uh, little towel rack here, dry everything there. Here off the back, you've got a spray port so you can wash your feet off, uh, rinse off the dog. Uh, if you've got bicycles you want to rinse off, anything like that. Uh, speaking of bicycles, here we've got a cargo receiver. Uh, this would be for a bike rack, rated at 300 pounds. Most RVs won't have that, so it's nice to know that the company does it uh, right off the bat there. Uh, you'll see a little circle at the top there, right over the L of the Delta. That means it's prepped for a uh, rear camera, so you can add that. Uh, on the other side here, not much over here, other than we do have another uh, storage door here. This we're going to find underneath the, uh, the couch on the inside here. So just more storage. Nobody can go wrong with extra storage here. Another big thing up front here as well, on the other side of the pass-through storage, uh, if, you've seen a, if you've ever seen a fifth wheel, you'll notice some similarities here. You got all your water hookups here. You got a battery disconnect. You could even run the slide out from the side here. And then you've got your water port as well. So very, very convenient to get to and e very easy access. Let's head inside. Here we are inside the 262 RB. The RB is going to denote a rear bath. As you look in the rear bath here, you're going to have a large vanity. You have a porcelain stool. You have a very large shower and a nice big window for light. Uh, looking inside the trailer here. We're going to have a big pantry with pull-out drawers, so very easy access. Both are going to be on drawers here, so easy, again, very easy to get at things here. You're going to have all soft-closed drawers on every cabinet or drawer inside this coach here. Uh, good size TV, this is a 40-inch TV that sits across from your theater seating here. You will have recliners here, and then you got a little storage cubby here for your remotes, uh, deck of cards, whatever you want to put inside there. In the kitchen here, we're going to find a U-shaped dinette that will also double as a good sized bed there. The table will drop down, and then the cushions will fill in the spot there. Uh, underneath the seats here, you're going to find storage here, again with those soft close uh, cabinet doors here, and also a good amount of storage with access on the bottom as well as underneath the actual cushions itself. 
Panning over here, we're going to see your L-shaped kitchen where you've got a countertop extension here. One thing you don't find in most RVs is you're going to find a spot for a garbage can that's built in. And then you're going to find oversized drawers with a silverware drawer built in. So Alliance has thought of a lot of nice features on this Delta here. Again, all these drawers are going to be full length drawers, full box frame. And even underneath the oven here, you're going to find a large drawer for pots and pans. Here we're going to find ourselves a 10 cubic foot 12 volt refrigerator. Uh, so this will run off battery power or when you're plugged in. What I like about the 12 volt fridges is they're a lot deeper. So you see the depth here, I mean my whole arm can fit in here. Uh, very efficient, they cool a lot faster as well as they running down the road you can safely cool your uh, refrigerator here. Uh, in the bedroom here we're going to find a residential queen size bed. Uh, what I like about that is sheets will easily fit this. You don't have to uh, buy any kind of uh, customized sheets. Uh, down the road if you wanted to switch out the mattress you can. You know, any kind of uh, mattress store would have one that would fit this. You'll notice on the sides of the bed here you've got reading lamps. Uh, you'll see one is blue and one is white. There's not a problem with it. You can do different colors uh, of the lights. So if one is sleeping and one wants to read you can have the lighter light there. You will have cabinets and closets on each side of the bed. So you've got access there. Then you've got nightstands on each side with plugs as well as USB ports. The uh, reason I point that out is if you had any kind of a sleep machine, you can set it right on the cabinet there, plug that in, and you've got plenty of space for that. Underneath the bed here, you will find storage. Nothing wrong with a little extra storage in an RV. A couple other things I wanted to point out in this alliance. Uh, this one is equipped with two air conditioners. So you will have two 13,500 BTU air conditioners, one in the main area here and one in the bedroom. Uh, also, I wanted to point out the large atrium windows. Uh, I really like to point that out because one, it lets in some nice natural light. Two, is their slider windows that will open. You'll get a very, very nice cross breeze through here. Thanks again for watching this. I'm Eddie with Hilltop Camper and RV. This is the 2024 Alliance Delta 262 RB. Please let us know if you have any questions.